Okay, time for some more Morrowind. Uh, let's see, last time we started this quest that involves investigating this theft by Rigmore Halfhand. So let's go talk to Rigmore. See if we can get him to confess. accused Engar. Okay. So this guy says that he stole first from him. Yes. I understand you are investigating Engar. So let's go talk to Engar and see if we can get him to confess. He says it's a lie, that he didn't do it. He wouldn't even need the furs. That he supposedly stole from Rigmore. So, um, let's go investigate his house, see if we find anything there. Not it. Uh. Oh wait, ice man. Here we go. Okay, so let's ask his wife about the crime. So she's suggesting that. Maybe Rigmore is jealous of Engar. And I I believe that because he was talking about how you know he doesn't Eng Engar doesn't treat VC right. And, you know he thinks that he would do better. That sounds like jealousy to me. Let's look around here. The pig children. What's this? Wow, this is, uh, this is incredibly racist. Um, okay, anyway. So here's a letter from Rigmore, the guy who claimed that his um, pelts were stolen. He's trying to convince her to leave her husband for him. So I'm going to take this note and show it to this guy. Or, well, okay, I'll, I'll show it to the other guy, I guess. So he, he admits that he did it. I get to decide the verdict. Hmm. Should I exile him or throw him to the wolves? Well, if I exile him, he'll have a chance. I think I'll exile him. I 
Out of the skull will hunt him. It won't offer him aid. I can go to the fort. I choose exile. Give me some some kind of helmet. It's a pretty good helmet. It's not nearly as good as the helmet I'm wearing right now, though. Okay, let's see. One th one more thing he wants me to do. Course wind eye. Yeah, use the shaman. Alright. Let's see what kind of test they have prepared for me. Go away. You might notice that I'm um, I'm using my sword to chop now instead of slash. That's because I turned off the always use best attack option. And I did that because, strangely enough, when it was on, I wasn't using the best attack for the sword. I was actually using slash instead of chop. When it slashes, it, it does a maximum of 60 damage. When it chops, it does a maximum of 75. So I'm guessing, like, when they calculate the best attack, they, they say, like, they add, like, the minimum plus the maximum. But I, I don't agree that that makes it the best. I think it's the best if it does the most maximum. So, um, so yeah, now it, now it does more damage. But, you know, if I'm strafing while I do this, it'll slash. I go back and forth. Okay, something happened. Technical difficulties. Okay, anyway. If you go back and forth, it'll thrust. It's kind of like the Daggerfall sword controls. Except in Daggerfall, you use the mouse. I think there's like a... There's a mod that lets you um, have like Daggerfall style sword swings. But I, I prefer it like this. So this was not here before, let's see. There's a coarse wind eye. Is that, is that him? It's a Draugr Lord that's causing the fire to come out of the lake. Oh, it's a sign of the Blood Moon prophecy. It's a prophecy that the wolves will walk like men. Okay, but enough of that. Let's do his little trial. Kill the Draugr Lord. His name is A Sleep, I believe it's pronounced. Okay, let's go get him. First, I should repair some of my stuff. Or 
What happened to the fire? Oh, there it is. Okay, I guess I have to go in here. Caves of Yaldi. So far, it's another boring ice cave. That's some pretty good loot. It's not good enough to matter, though. Wait, that was some... that was mead. Yeah, I want that. Hmm. That wouldn't be very good to use. I don't want my agility to go down. I don't know, I might need the strength. I don't know. I'll just take it. So yeah, mead in this game is a lot more interesting than it is in uh, Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim, like, all the alcoholic beverages, they do the same thing. They just, like, they give you some of your stamina back. And it, like, damages your stamina regeneration. That's, like, all it does. It's pretty lame. But that's what mods are for. So there's a glitch in this game before it was patched. Um, if you like hold your sword back like this, and then right before you swing, you whip out um, a lockpick. It used to be well, it still does work. Okay. I guess if yeah. I actually just learned about that glitch a couple days ago. I was watching somebody speedrun this game. It's, um, it's an instant kill if you switch to lockpick mid-swing, as long as whatever you're attacking is not wearing any clothing, I believe. Maybe it's not any armor. I mean, I, earlier I tried it on an NPC that was... Um, I didn't think he was wearing any armor. Uh, maybe he was. He was wearing, like, boots or something. How does Bone Mold pop Paltrin get here? Foolish to enter this place, I hope, but I sense a bit of wisdom in you, perhaps. I tell you where you stand, where you try and stop. Keep me from my task. There are more dangerous things in this case than this place. Really? Like what? So he's an intelligent jogger. And he was he was a skull once. And he became a necromancer, and they didn't like that, so they cast him out. It's 
So we found... We found, like, a lair with a whole bunch of frost atronax in it. So we have to get rid of them or else they'll kill all, all the life on the island. barrier that he uh, put up against the, uh, the Frost Tetranax, its, uh, its power is waning. So he wants me to fight with him to kill the Frost Tetranax. That would be a lot smarter. I'm not gonna kill him just because the skull told me to. I'm a thinking man. I don't just do what I'm told. Okay. I guess now he's following me. And this is the barrier. It's probably safe here. This might be a tough fight. using fire-based magic. should have invested in some frost resistance spells. But I can take it. Frost tension acts are pretty weak. He's making such a big deal out of it. Not even that tough. He's like, oh no, they're gonna kill us all. Dude, just frost tension acts.
man, he got in my way so I couldn't dodge. Okay, so that's all the frost statue max. Oh, this is weird, I have a dialogue window and my journal opened at the same time. Give me a ring. Oh, now he's dead. Rest in peace. Rip in peace. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at this ring he gave me. Oh, wow. That's a really good ring. Fortifies my willpower and magicka. Damn. Oh, but now I don't have... Now I'm not wearing... The Ring of Zora. I don't know, I think the Ring of Zora is better. Because it has that restore fatigue. I don't really need the extra magic up. I can do without it. Alright, so let's go back and tell the skull what I've done. They don't have to know that I didn't kill him. Outcome is the same anyway. I really should be using Mark and Recall. I think I'm going to cast Recall when I go back to the village. Because this, this island has, like, no transportation whatsoever. Except for teleporting. It's very wild and untamed. I feel like I'm doing one of those Survivor Man shows. to drink my own pee at some point. Come on, get up there. Get up. Oh, well, this is weird. I'm swimming... <laughs> I'm swimming through the ice. Save just in case one of them gets a cheap hit on me. that. I think I... yeah, I need more willpower. Still really vulnerable to spells.
Oh, I probably need to talk to that that shaman guy. He has matters to attend to. That probably means something is about to happen. Oh, there we go. Werewolves are attacking the village. Alright, let's go help them out. Oh man, they're all converging on me. That's not fair. So, as you can see, um, werewolves are extremely tough. They can kill you in one hit. Run them too. Even with the boots of binding speed, they can still catch up. And after all this time, after building my strength all this time, it still only takes them one hit. It's ridiculous. It's a good thing my agility is really high. I seem to be missing a lot. certainly are having a problem with these. Oh. Let's go help Farston. Ah! Retreat, retreat. Thing enemies can't follow me through doors. And now they're just not attacking me for some reason. Him. 
Maybe they took him away. Gave him as a sacrifice to her scene. The horse says that I was infected by the werewolves. Even though I am completely immune to disease. But I'm not immune to plot disease. So I cast Cure Disease and I can avoid becoming a werewolf. But if I wait three days without doing that, I will become a werewolf. So if I am a werewolf, he won't... He'll uh, cast me out of the skull. It doesn't even matter that I helped them all that much. Is still gonna cast me out because they really hate werewolves. So let's see, how, what should I do? Should I let myself become a werewolf or stay with the skull? Oh, that's an easy choice. I mean, who doesn't want to be a werewolf? I'm sure you want to see what it's like to be a werewolf in this game. I'm just going to go somewhere and wait for three days. So werewolves in this game, as you can, you've seen already, they're really overpowered. And when you become a werewolf, you're just as overpowered as those werewolves I was just fighting are. It's pretty awesome. Those reclings are not awesome. person I have to kill. I just have to kill a human. That will satisfy me. I think if you, if you don't, if you don't, uh, let's see, if you don't kill one human every night, and you start to get weaker, and you can't control your, um, your transformations, But it's pretty easy to be a werewolf because you can um, you can kill like the berserkers and free hags on Solstein. Back on Vardenfell, you can kill the guards. And by the way, look at this jump! Look at that! It's crazy! It's awesome! You can run faster when your claws are down. That looks ridiculous. Yeah, the animations in this game aren't great. How did the skull guard find me all the way down here? Oh, that's not a skull guard. That was a quest character. Damn it. Oh well, I probably wasn't going to do that quest anyway. I'm 
go find somewhere to rest. So my beast form can run its course. I can kill basically anything in one hit. <coughs> well, one or two hits. Why don't you let me rest already? It's like nobody around. Here's, here's this lady. Have a look at my attributes here. I have um, 150 strength, 150 agility, 50 speed, 50 endurance. I think that's dependent on your level. But I'm not sure. It, it doubles your health. This is getting really annoying. I can't find anywhere to rest. <laughs> Even the berserkers are scared of me. See if I can rest in here. I can't rest in werewolf form, okay? And what do I do? Do I just have to wait? Oh. Okay, I see. So you don't you don't get a rest menu, but you get a wait menu. Alright, there we go. I have to put all my clothes back on. That's a pain. That's everything. Okay. So unfortunately I'll have to do that every night. Alright. So I'm not sure what what to do next as a werewolf. But uh, I'm going to put the main quest on hold for a minute because I want to do the Raven Rock quests. And uh, we'll do that next time. Try to um, be a part of East Empire Company while dealing with our vampire problems. Until then.